our faithful leader. I don't know if he understand, knows this or not, but he's had me guest host this show seven times this year. Seven, seven. times. It's a bromance. It really is. It's a bromance. A brother from another, uh, <laughs> Rich Eisen, live from Cleveland, Ohio. How you doing, Rich? How are you guys doing? How are you, gents? What up, Rich? Hey. We're having a blast. I mean, there's it's uh, it's really easy to it's really easy to talk about uh, um, talk about a lot of stuff today because of the draft. You were there. What what was it like to kind of not only not only it was the draft, but doing it again, right? Being in front of uh, a, a, an audience and all the things that went down last night. It was great. Just amazing. Just awesome. It's now also stopped raining, so that makes it a little oh, nice. <laughs> um, it literally just about an hour ago. It, it started raining yesterday morning, and it just stopped now. So it should be a chilly but cr- uh, uh, clear night tonight for nights two and three. And fans were 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 hot, thrilled. I mean, <clears throat> Brockwood at one point it was turned into like Fenway Park with Sweet Caroline yeah, being played I- on the. <laughs> I was watching you know, it, and it was really funny. Uh, you just bringing up song lyrics the whole time after that it was. Great. Well, I mean, it was. It, it's so loud. I mean, and I know you're hearing it at home. It's kind of like my the, the idea of you know you got to talk about what people are hearing. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is that you know it, they were just getting to the sing along part just as Goodell got to the podium, and we were wondering like, is the commissioner going to tell him to stop playing? Like sometimes Roger would look at the band like. You know, uh, Johnny Carson coming back from break, with, you know, <laughs> or, or Letterman would kind of like make a hand movement to tell the band to stop playing. Rod, you know, the commissioner would do that from time to time, but when 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 everyone was screaming, you know, so good, like he kept he he was, he was moving it all, like he he got into it. Yeah, he was egging him on, and and that was the general sense of the room. It was like a it was giddy, like everyone was giddy, like we're here, like this is happening, like. Yeah. You know, and we're we're getting closer to normal, and we're back, and we're in person, and it was, you could feel the vibe, and it was great, and you know, and then trades start happening, and um, it was, you know, and then and then once you know, Mac Jones went off the board. I'll I'll be honest, it it, it kind of, um, you know, the the night began to wind down a little bit, and then the Browns got on the clock, twenty sixth overall. The boos were lusty for the Steelers, twenty <laughs> fourth overall. It was it was it was just fun, and I think tonight's going to even be better because it's not going to be raining on top of people. Yeah, I mean weather <laughs> can play a huge factor, and poor Cleveland had to live through it last night. Joe Thomas at the top of his lungs to open the night. I thought was pretty great. Um, you were at the table, seventeenth year you've done this. You were around all the guys making their prognostications or uh, analyzing what just went down. Was there was there something that that truly shocked? Uh, anybody at the table uh, or yourself uh, early in the first round last night? Um, look, you know, um, I, 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 the, the Trey Lance pick was what everybody on the table thought the Niners should do. Um, as uh, regular consumers of this show will know. I mean, you posted the video last night, Chris, because yeah. <laughs> I'll share along. You had I it. I mean, you had it. Like, yeah. Well, I, I texted you before, and I'm like, if it's Lance, you got to pop that video up there. You yeah. got to mic drop this thing. <laughs> what was it? The tw- what was it? Was uh, April 21st? Or yeah, something April, like that, April 21st or? last week. Yeah. So that's when I began hearing, you know, this could be Lance, and it's maybe even been Lance all along, and that's what you know uh, Kyle Shanahan said last night. Now you would know, you knew that's what the Niners would say about the pick once they made it. They're not going to sit there and go, well, yeah, it was. We traded up for somebody else, but this guy was just so much better the last couple of weeks. You know, I, I, it, it's it that wasn't a surprise to to anybody. I don't think uh, on the set, other than the fact that you know the Bears trading up for Justin Fields was a surprise. Uh, the Raiders' choice of Alex Leatherwood. Um, that's the only player outside of out of Daniel Jeremiah's top fifty that got drafted last night. Oh. Um, so the Raiders choosing who they chose was definitely a head scratcher for a lot of people in that draft hall. Um, but the biggest surprise of the day, quite honestly, is, you know, what happened, I think, after we hung up yesterday and yeah. the report that Schefter put out there that, that Ian Rappaport also added on to that, that Aaron Rodgers was telling people that he had no intention of showing back up in a Packer uniform again. And, that was the shocker of the day. How much of the um, rundown did you guys 
yet you guys have to toss because of that news? Well, I mean, certainly our pre-show, um, we reconfigured things. And, um, you, know, that's, you know, that's something to keep an eye on for, from now on. Um, the concept of, of Rogers being traded last night was, I think, completely ridiculous. Um, it may have been close. I know what uh, Schlereth said, it was close to the Broncos. But once I heard that, you know, um, as a possibility um, after the draft, you know, like I, I, you know, I'm off of Twitter during the draft on purpose because I don't want to know what is coming. That is part of the broadcast. So I saw afterward that um, that that Mark had said something about that. And to be honest with you, that made no sense to me because if this is about the end game scenario of Aaron Rodgers, the career ending scenario for Aaron Rodgers. If that's what this is essentially all about and him wanting a contract in dollars and in terms that gives him the ability to script his career ending, similar to what happened with Brady and Jimmy Garoppolo, right? That it, and <laughs> that the only way that this would lead to him not finishing his career with Green Bay is if he wants to play till he's 45, like Tom. Um, if that's what this truly is all about, then why in the hell would he okay a trade to Patrick Mahomes' division? <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, why, why would that be a more acceptable? Yeah, you know what? Um, I, I, I want, you know, to just um, pitch, at least for this coming year, following up the MVP, uh, by by leaving the division with Goff and Justin Fields for at the time Dalton and you know and and Cousins, yeah. Let me just throw my hat into the Mahomes twice a year ring. That makes no <laughs> sense to me. Zero. And to be able to pull off a trade of Rogers on draft, I could not imagine a more traffic everybody else is busy day than draft day like you the trade of rogers doesn't get pulled off on draft day just because the ugliness that's gone on behind the scenes has been revealed publicly that just none of it made sense to me the 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 thing that made sense to me would have made sense to me is if there were, there was a trade with the the broncos for jordan love that would have made sense to me that okay this thing became ugly, and we're, you know what, it's, we're done. We're going to give the contract up. And Jordan, uncle, we made that wrong choice last year. Jordan Love's gone. Rodgers has proved he clearly is at the top of his game for many more years to come. Jordan's gone. He's officially Jimmy G. Now he shows up to Denver. Denver gets their quarterback of the future. And the, the Packers get to choose Patrick Sertan as opposed to the corner that they eventually took anyway. And whatever would come with Jordan Love as well, you know, what? Would, 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 um, would, would Green Bay also get, um, would, 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 would they have to give up another two? Because Jordan Love is pretty damn good. Would, it, would, there, would there be any more of a transaction right. than just the first overall pick that the Packers, by pissing off Rodgers, turned a 26th overall in 2020 into an eighth overall in 2021 in the form of one of the top corners that TJ wanted, you know, <laughs> for the Cowboys. So that would have been more feasible to me than Rogers getting dealt last night. Is this, is this just the, the same type of thing that we've seen all off season, the smoke, the Russell Wilson smoke, the Sean Watson smoke, the, is it just, it's, it's an uncomfortability because he, Aaron Rodgers doesn't feel appreciated, and the Packers are simply not going to move off this. Or, or I don't know. Or do we see right? something I mean, happen? Like, no, none of us really know. I mean, we're all wildly speculating. Right. All of us. Right. I mean, absolutely. Last every last one of us. I mean, uh, uh, I I I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not there at the granular level. I mean, I I don't know if the Packers, you know, refuse to meet you know, Aaron, and then reluctantly flew out, or they immediately flew out, and Rodgers left them cool in their heels. I mean, again, these are, or, or it's just been a normal, like, let's talk. And then they just refused to meet Aaron's terms, 
in a manner that they felt that Rogers wanted. Again, these are these are everything I just said is all either wildly speculative or you know educated guesses. We have no earthly idea. None. Did they maybe not send a note, con- you know, congratulating Aaron on, on his engagement? His age? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who the hell? You know what I mean? Like, who the hell knows about a personal relationship between two business partners, which is really what it is? Um, none. I have no idea at all what's gone on between the two of them. None of us have either. Uh, Rogers all year long was totally kumbaya about everything, won an MVP, and then saw a guy who, after 20 years of a relationship football-wise, comes into his house with his new team that's been all in built for the remaining window of his career, the quarterback's career, and beats Rodgers in a game in which Rodgers is removed from the field on fourth and goal for a field goal. Like, I don't know if that's got something to do with it. I mean, all of these, all, this whole, the, the whole narrative. The starting quarterback in 2021, Ryan. I, I feel like that too. I feel like I, if there is a guy that actually has the power or leverage to say, hey, you know what? You know what? Good luck. You know, you guys, you guys haven't helped me. Uh, I'm not going to help you through this process. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go live my life and, and I can do it. Uh, it it's well, Aaron. I got to tell you, Ryan, this, we, we said on the show, um, Chris and TJ, right? I mean, I, I, I talked with you guys about it a couple weeks ago, and I've told the viewers and listeners of this show over and over again, the, the news when a quarterback restructures his contract is dog bites man story. The news of quarterback refusing to restructure his contract is man bites dog. That's the one where you got to go, well, something's up here. Because all contracts are negotiated between quarterback and team to know, well, at this point in time, we're going to come to you and we'll restructure and whatever. But when Rodgers said no, that's when it's just like, huh, okay, what's up with that? When Mahomes says, okay, I'll restructure my contract, that's like, well, they probably planned that two years ago. Yeah. You know? So, again, it's going to come down to it. Certainly now that the first round has been, you know, handled, that for Rodgers to be traded, it is going to take a much longer time than just a couple of hours after Schefter drops something on a draft night. <laughs> when there's, I mean, could you imagine you're the Denver GM, right? <laughs> yeah, having to, having to make their choices, and and, and, and this is happening in, in their in their in their purview. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, believe and it. they're talking about: Do we get Justin Fields? Could we get Trey Lance? Is it possible? What if Mac Jones is there? What if Sir Tan's there? And they probably have 15 trades that they've already talked about with 15 other partners that they've already talked about. And all of a sudden, they turn on the TV, and it's public. What no doubt everybody's not known behind the scenes. Honestly, the, the report that Tom Pelissero put out yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday. It all blends together. I know I think it's Tom was on with you guys yesterday that um, the Niners called <laughs> the Packers saying, do you want three overall for Rodgers? Yep. And the, and the initial response is like, uh-oh. So the Niners traded all that to go up to three, to grind tape for a month, only to come up with the concept of, well, we got to go YOLO on Rodgers because we don't really believe in these guys, to – after that report going, well, no kidding. They're calling up about Rogers. If you've heard about all this stuff and you have to do that, but they love Trey Lance and for good reason. So, you know, put it all together. Could you imagine you're Denver and you're doing all this stuff? And then all of a sudden it's just like, well, we got to call green Bay. <laughs> we got to, we got to, we got we to gotta vet to this thing out a little bit here to make sure we're, uh, we're doing the right thing. But that's why I'm saying to me the, 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 pl- the possibility would have been the Packers calling uncle on everything and trading Jordan Love. Because you can't trade Rodgers for the ninth overall selection in a draft. What are you kidding me? You couldn't even do it for three because you're not trying to acquire a quarterback. Right. you already got your quarterback. That's the reason why Rodgers is available. So the fix is get rid of the other quarterback, sign Rodgers, get a draft choice that's in top 10 to actually supplement Rodgers or the team while Rodgers is happy 
in the remaining window of opportunity. That's what I my ears were peeled for last night. But instead, um, but instead they don't do anything and they take a, a cornerback out of Georgia that wasn't nearly wasn't really considered to be. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, look. I mean, who knows, man? Because that's the other problem. And I mentioned this on the draft last night. Is like that was part of the problem of the Jordan Love pick. Is like okay, so you're not going to give offensive help to Rodgers. At least give him the defensive help after the Niners torched you in the NFC Championship game. They didn't even do that. No, then they go. Then they go get AJ Dillon in round two, and you're like, oh, I mean, it's just <laughs> what, what? What are we doing? Well, we'll here? see what Dillon looks like this year. But at, at any rate, that was really um, intense last night. TJ, you've got to be psyched about the way the Cowboys handled their business last night. Oh, he's been hey, he's been ecstatic. I'm I'm happy, Rich. You know, and, and I'm even more happy because the day before I predicted that we would take Micah Parsons, and you know, in a roundabout way, I did predict that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Del Tufo. <laughs> but very happy. Yeah, that and, was very like that was very MDT like right there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he Art. great great pickup. But Rich, I do have a question for you. You know, I've sat here for weeks and asked you how you were feeling. You know, you, we always kind of thought that Zach Wilson would be the Jets' pick. Now that we know, and it did in fact happen, how are you feeling? Well, look, I'm going to do a couple of favors for all of you. Number one, <laughs> uh, I know we're up against the end of the hour, so I this is not a two minute answer. No, nope, you'll <laughs> save gonna, this for Monday. You'll save this I'm one gonna, for Monday. I'm going to I'm going to save that large breadcrumb for Monday. Right, we'll put the a Jets, pin in that one. <laughs> the Jets did not. Yes, the Jets did not uh, stand pat and get Najee Harris, who went the pick after the Jets would have picked, by the way. They didn't get Travis Etienne, who... That was another thing last night about the amazing first that we saw, the quarterback-running back combination from the same school chosen in the first round by the same team for the first time ever. We've never seen that before. Um, To trade up to get a guard. Um, Put it all together, and I'll give my thoughts on the Jets on Monday, Daniel Jeremiah is um, first up. He's already booked for Monday. We've got a lot of other fun things in store because it's just going to be tonight's going to be great. And then tomorrow with the Run Rich Run reveal, we're excited about that. Um, NFL.com slash Run Rich Run for everybody to give. You can go to the NFL auction website. Um, just go to Google NFL auction. <clears throat> go to the website. All the cleats of all the. Uh, of all the NFL legends autographed and the box as well um, autographed. I know the shoe honks that are in the room right now, if you want to go and <laughs> donate. The box is important, Rich. A, it's important to have the a, box. A signed pair of, you know, um, Ray Lewis cleats or Rod Woodson cleats. That's all out there. Um, that reveal is Saturday. We'll talk about it all on, on Monday, but I do have two cents on that. And then I cannot wait, cannot wait to talk on Monday about, the years to come of the Jet Patriot battles between Mac Jones Zach and Wilson Zach Wilson. And Jones. All right, <laughs> all wait right. For it, it's going to be great. Uh, all I have to say about that is I'm so happy. It's not Zach Wilson versus Trey Lance. I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, all right. I, I, I I'm, I'm. I, I told Chris oh. Bruckman uh, to be very excited. So. Rich, oh, thank you thanks. again for uh, for joining us, oh, uh, and again oh, for good. giving me this platform. As always, enjoy tonight. You're doing a heck of a job, Rich Eisen. Everybody, have thanks a great for show, tonight, Rich. Thanks, guys, and and thanks to everybody too. You too, TJ and um, Chris and and um, Mike Hoskins and and Sean Mitchell at home. What you guys did on our social media at Rich Eisen Show last night to follow along with the draft was great. I was thrilled to see that once I got back to the hotel room. It was a lot so, of fun. Yeah. Fired up. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Rich. We appreciate again. it. All right, all right have a see great night. Rich Eyes and everybody. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.